Now, the rift between Donald Trump and the media is growing deeper, with news outlets even devising new rules for how to cover the president. Miguel Francis Santiago takes a look. How long does it take for a global superpower to plunge down among the ranks of countries like Zimbabwe or Yemen? Apparently about 12 days, according to Reuters editor-in-chief Steve Adler, the agency's official guide on how to report all things Trump. Perhaps was supposed to be an inspiring piece, but instead it painted a pretty grim picture for America's next four years at least. It brags about the fact that Reuters has all skills necessary to counter the threat of Trump's America. All because it dealt with legal prosecution, visa restrictions, and even physical threats in, you know, such desperate places like Zimbabwe, Iraq, Yemen, and of course, Russia. So what are those skills Reuters asks journalists to utilize? Well, stay out of trouble, stay calm, and gather all your emergency resources. But what led Mr. Adler to such frustration? Well, Trump is not a big fan of mainstream media. Don't be rude. No, I'm not going to give you a question. I'm you, not going to give you a can question. You can you stay counter? You are fake news. Now, see, Reuters has a problem with this. After all, the guide also points out that Trump called the MSM among the most dishonest human beings on earth, mainly because of this. Liberal media so upset, visibly upset, about Donald Trump's victory. The world's shining light of democracy has gone dark. You're not having a terrible, terrible dream. Is there going to be remnants of a neo-fascist movement that he leads in this country after oh. this election? So does Trump perhaps have a point here? You be the judge, while Reuters talks about cultivating fair and balanced reporting in Trump's America, which this guide sidelined next to Zimbabwe. I'm Miguel Francis Santiago, RT.